I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chelame City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Here, still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. What's up with your Vovas bots, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Ah, oh, thanks a million! Enjoy the celebration! Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. Step right up. You can become part of Collective with a thought device, comrades. The of technological progress is breathtaking. No sky's the Good day, comrade. Come closer. Deep. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. 
Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. All right, then. Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hey, you. Experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like. Glove. So it's like augmented reality or something? I like it. One more game of battleship than that one. Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Are they getting rid of the rain clouds to wear us? Your thought device today. Get connected straight away. I had my polymer treatment yesterday. Everything. What a great Let's just take the picture the way we are. Can't wait to have Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. I still can't believe the stars can be so close. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's Poly Education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule.
just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone! <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. Come on, welcome to your future. Report to the lobby of that Tyron's Tower of the greatest the event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. So glad to no, see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. Just look. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. He's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not to leave. Thanks to my invention, you're a I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just... So nice. Our elevator has arrived. At last, a network of human emeralds. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone. And finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The Neural Connector Thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed accessing all human knowledge, and of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communication. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. 
One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. That's one hell of a car. But it's still an internal combustion engine, right? Sure, it's a solid machine. Can't stop progress, though. They're turning out new models daily now. This one's a gas guzzler. Wait until they're all running on electricity. That would be something. It combines high-tech digital right. solutions with an elegant eye-pleasing look in a wide range of colors. You can find a thought device that matches your eye color, your favorite dress, or anything you like. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from in one of every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the Vidyanch and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky.
You can now observe the operations of an automated plant, performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, Petrov is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? For your safety, what the? please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at Laboratory 8 of the Babylon Hospital Plant Facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! Shit! Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Attention, this is an emergency communication. There has been a Killing me. Uh. Do not interact with the robot. Do not interact with the robot.
our planet. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. Holy shit! Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Help! Somebody help me! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Shit! Uh, get away from me! Yourself. Get the fuck off me! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Ah. Oh. 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold them off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that! Eat shit and die! Uh, 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 shit! Uh, uh, uh. Come 
to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockholz. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how do you end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences. Dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, who's there? <sighs> they found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady. This is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! Turn the handle and open the door! Dude, what the shit? Hang on, buddy! Hang on! Hang on! Rose for the ashes. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shit, I'm a shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? This rate I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something.
Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. Watch you. Hi, Mihail. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Koltsov some tea. I'll be with you in a second. Okay? Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Telling me a handful of traitors somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traitors introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time. during which many more people will die, and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Get up, soldier. <sighs> Great. Just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great. Now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? 
What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! No! Where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock-picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Fuck! Fuck me! Oh, what a stud! I've taken enough of the jocks. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, you're gonna love this. Don't let her bind your arms! Can't you see I'm trying? Open to suggestions! Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? <laughs> More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can make it sturdier and sharper. Nora can upgrade weapons and equipment, as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. To do this, provide the repair vendor with the resources you will undoubtedly find as you rummage through the entire area. You can fill me with whatever you want, big guy. Insert your axe. I'll give you the time of your life. You're sick, you know that. Deeper? Again? Oh, yes, honey, more! More! Yes! 
But I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai. Regular VOVA 6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want and just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out about this. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. such as yourself. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. This was one of those times.
off. You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. They say Monday begins on Saturday. But I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th. And our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a vote. Have a great weekend. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. The door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue.
There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. I supposed to restart the line there should be a control panel nearby there's the control panel and of course it's locked you guys just love these things don't you but this is a new one a combination lock ah it'd take me a year to guess the combo look around maybe someone has the code someone's got to move anything comrades uh what was that Go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me. He's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. to produce a full-blown airborne... The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station master has it. Cultural zone. He didn't make it. Such a city Wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Clouds will be Moscow too. The brand new capital of our city. Gotta find the station master. I just wish I knew where he is. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. The talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropod- There it is. Not every man. Oh, shit. Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. This works. Speed them up. 
The cable car line is activated. We are ready to depart. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Nine. Sorry. Eight. No ticket. Seven. Six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. gonna be rough. Shit. You again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive a time. Charles, that was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Talking about the Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground, and in a month, you'll have a complete subway system or any sort of tunnel. Subways, hell. It's the moon that we're going to use them for, terraforming. So their top secret and their armor is tougher than a tank's. PTA plates unmarked, cutting edge sides. Sorry, I gotta run. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels? 
That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Hey, this is my stop. What a nice trip. Wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. Give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no- All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes, yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. <laughs> Crap! That hurt! That thing packs a punch. Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be such enough, Sky. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor? are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning! Hey, freeze! Warning! Damn it. Red alert. Lockdown in progress.
He's pretty good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like they're his property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Attention all co-workers, please listen to this chirper and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plot specimens home under any circumstances. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Substances, ...including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. They're in the wall! Can you hear them? Scurrying around! I'm scared! I'm really scared of them! You've got nothing to be scared of. You're... dead. I know! Even back when I was alive, I saw dead people get up again. I don't want this to happen to me! I'm scared of them! I gotta keep moving. Keep your eyes peeled. They're even tormenting the dead! I've seen it! I've seen it! have to carry it like this the candle is a complex unstable piece of equipment it cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items there is a high probability of mutual destructuralization like an explosion not necessarily but the candle would be disabled so I'll have to carry it like this got it the candle is quite durable you can drop it or even throw it intentionally nothing will happen to it mm-hmm so, you think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise.
That sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. have here. Repeat. This is the lunar. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You egghead sure loved I've got one. The USSR's first major victory in its open-ended space exploration mission decided to be. It's a weird song. But I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine. Well, what you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. Not that batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, Comrade Major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. There it is. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl and strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. Do you like it, sugar? I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. Where the hell is it? 
is it. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. That dirty son of a whore. The repair vendor is completely insane. He's got her saying all kinds of creepy sex shit and making goofy junk instead of decent weapons. And she kills people. Does that mean we'll have to go unarmed? Uh, anything's better than nothing, right? I'd rather take on a robot with a metal toilet brush than my bare hands. Will be considered an aggravating circumstance. Uh, done. I think it worked. Phew, this place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank. The heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Fading data. Access granted. Crispy critters! They're most certainly crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this! Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seed bank vault. Staff will contain their integrity compromised.
Access granted.
discussion and dissemination of experimental data constitutes a crime against the Communist Party and is punishable by capital punishment. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Listen to me, you brainless mutt. Yes, Agent, this recording is for you. I can hear you banging around in the warehouse. You'll never take me alive, so listen up. You have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Who's the brainless mutt now, huh? According to biometric readings, this is Patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Ah, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, P3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. G from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I Charles, I'm in the hot shop. 
Am I going to turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Sons of bitches. Hey! 
Can you finish me off, please? What the? J just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here. But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. Lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. <sighs> harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. think the canister might be a device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms <sighs> let's go find it Someone else come here before me? Sure. See that dead body? That's Alexei, the technician. We've been having quite a conversation since they killed us. The thing is, about 20 minutes ago, the light sort of went out of him. He did manage to say something right at the end. But it was complete gibberish. What do you mean, went out? Oh, I don't know. Kind of expired, so to speak. I think this must be all the vaccination's fault. Dead people being so chatty, I mean. Residual brain activity or something. What else could it be? Okay. So long. These canisters are used with polymer dispensers, Comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully... specific.
comrades. We need to do something about the mushroom spores in the germination department. They sent us another robot. They said it was on the fritz. So we opened it up, and it's full of mushrooms on the inside. The whole thing is packed with mycelia. What is it about the robot's polymer environment that the mushrooms like so much? At this rate, we'll have mushroom techs instead of lab techs. You guys are smart, right? Come up with something. Canister detected. Synthesizing luminopolymer. Canister will be built in 35 days. 35? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process... There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a sh Fading data. Authorization. Major need. There we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Gotta be careful, it's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. Canister will be built in 20 days. It worked. Look at that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. Lousy goddamn cable car go any faster. No one foresaw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question.
Just need to speed up the last motor. Well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. Pleasant lights all around, Shayla's buzzing in the distance. How romantic. Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructed to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry, it's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. 
There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? That's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Smoking-related issues have been especially intense since the war. And Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. And, most importantly, it gradually introduces an aversion to smoking. It's cheap to make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. We could help two-thirds of Soviet smokers kick the habit in just five years. Fading data. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Fading data. It's glowing. It's beautiful. The preliminary power generation phase has begun. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system, or excessive polymer fertilizer production.
I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Sorry, pal, but I just needed more. You get it, right? You're a machine, so I needed more. What's your lot in life? Serve humans, right? Well, I used to serve folks, too. I served in Kursk, and I served in Berlin. But I didn't do it just to get a fancy medal. I was fighting for equality, so everybody could have the same rights and responsibilities. So everybody could be like everybody else. Now, I just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on. Okay, I found the opening. The boiler's too hot to touch. I need Ugh. to... What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. Okay, second one's all set. came up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Go 
Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. What's that supposed to mean? It's hot. You're hot, huh? Hey, you ought to try going to the Urals and being a steel worker, even for half ships. That'd make a man of you, I tell you. But look at him. Instead, he's over there with his pretty flowers bitching about the heat. We crack tough. Don't give a goddamn about no heat. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. We'll hop right into an oven or a volcano at the drop of a hat. So don't come whimpering to me, Bob. Once the update collected, everything will be hunky-dory. And if someone starts bitching, they ain't worth shit. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. <laughs> What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. There we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. Attention. Distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, 
I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. Authorization, Major Nichayev. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance, which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, you will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier, and we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on Mars. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem, they're short of testing sites. Could you do me a favor and put a small department off in a remote wing somewhere? 
They just need to observe how animals behave in a polymer suit. It's top secret, of course, but just about everything in your complex is top secret, isn't it? Pavlov will start sending you the polymer in vats first. We'll build a pipeline just as soon as the Ministry of Finance approves it. Thank you in advance. Comrade Zalatuchin, my dear colleague, we haven't really had a chance to get acquainted yet. But I assure you, if you attend our theater under my guidance, you'll never forget the name Lastoshkin. I've got a little favor to ask you. Could you send us a few of those fascinating flowers of yours? The theater just isn't green enough, and it could use a little more exoticism if you catch my drift. A little bird told me you've got some creeping bushes now. I'd love to have a dozen of those to wow my VIPs with. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Sincerely yours, Stefan Lastoshkin. You'd say, finally, you cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing. But the way they slowly walked towards the humans, it was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium.
Ugh, what a goddamn clusterfuck. Up. Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. This is the proving ground for some of the most important scientific experiments. At first, it was extremely difficult for me to understand. That then, when our science emerged, the core solution in the region was smashed to panel of big colonies so they could adapt to alternative sources of oxygen. Polymers that can function. This lab is the source material critical to the operation. The complex is assessed, analyzed, and processed. The result of each of these transported was constructed still by this point to their intended destination. Since its function immediately makes this department hardly bother shoulders, details of its operations and conditions are each themselves. I mean, I'm thinking about it. I promise. I promise. Sometimes I think that when put to plaster and bruise on the commotion itself is going to look kind of dance of death. After all, you know, it's keeping warm. You know, the same thing. I can't be glad. Spinning. That should do the trick. I just kill all of them. It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. 
to undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. It's huge. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the Moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Comrades, follow your shift schedule carefully. An extra minute spent on Please select the desired procedure. Fill the canister. The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Then Shit! What's the matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. Buddy, same old shit. Please restart. 
Wow, you don't say. Finally. Data saved. Attention, employees. Access to the pesticide workshop is now available. Comrade Vavilov, the graduate students have come up with a new pastime. They're playing tic-tac-toe on the breeding beds. One of them plants corn and the other plants tomatoes. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to chew them out, but then I realized it's actually a decent little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural gaming club? slandering the Communist Party, has officially paid his debt to the motherland and is thus granted relief from forced labor at the complex. Let's get the hell out of here. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister... Do you like it here, sugar? I find this facility so depressing. It sure is. Why? Is there a more cheerful place somewhere? Of course there is, handsome. Anywhere I can tie up disgusting, horny creeps will do for me. Ugh, you're seriously fucked in the head, lady. Oh, honey, it's the ones with tendrils sprouting out of their heads that are seriously fucked. Not me. So, you didn't like it here because there weren't enough people? There are never enough. I'm so bored. You are a breath of fresh air, handsome. Answer me hard and often. Oh, fuck. Fading data. Thank you. 
Well, well. How do you like that to your head? Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So? What do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's... <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Are you off your nut? Is this some kind of joke? Shh, shh. You could... you could wake it up at any time. In two hours' time, when the pesticide reaches critical low, it'll wake up. Do you understand? I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You'll have to find a PA-400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA-400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. <sighs> Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder or we're screwed! Shit, that thing is huge. Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking experiments. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. Fading data. Authorization made...
Please help me. You've got to plant seeds in me. Sorry, I... what? I know I'm dead. I don't want to be a useless corpse. My body could become soil for plants. My colleagues and I will leave a trace. We were working for the good of the Soviet Union. I definitely can't help you with that. Okay. Sorry, I, I gotta keep moving. Blow that motherfucker up! Schnetzel? Are you there, boy? Okay, great. Anyway, entry number- This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here! Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. Number three, May 10th. The hemlock has grown to an unprecedented size and continues to grow on a daily basis. Its behavior is becoming aggressive. Its stems have become vine-like growths, and I can fully confirm that the plant has developed something akin to vision and the ability to track its own food. Hmm. Where's that damn dog? Schnitzel! Schnitzel, here, boy! Fading data. Charles, this sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Now at 
Another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a mutant nearby. You won't find us here. We should be safe. The lights went out. I hate to disappoint you, but a mutant got you. So they did kill me. I thought they did. How very sad. Only when I died. I realize I had never taken life too seriously. You never miss the water till the well runs dry. Such is life. How symbolic. I should have plundered this earlier. Hey, Charles. If I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. So... yes or no? We lack the data to make the determination. There's only one way to find out. Uh... Pesticide level I think I'll pass. Pass. Now at pass. 6%. We need to hurry. Crispy critters, I'm trying! Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? with me. You first. Oh, sh shoot. Reduced. This, well, it explains how the plant feeds itself. By grabbing food with its stems, for example. Just a second. What? What are you eating this time? Schnitzel! Drop it. Bad dog. Anyway. Uh, later. <laughs> What the fuck is taking you so long? Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's it. Smoke break. 
Did you find the container? I'm out of PA-400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that! That won't kill it! You were supposed to blow it up! Damn it! What do we do now? It's awake! We gotta ignite the polymer! Give me your cigarette! You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah! Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's enraged! We gotta run before it... Hang on! God damn it! Ah, oh, fuck! My leg! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, Have you we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! No, fuck! No! Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, shit. The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make... ...giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov.
Data. Do you like our bush, hot stuff? It is so adorable. What the hell are you rambling on about? What bush? The one you took the polymer canister from, handsome. You mean that overgrown hemlock plant? What's cute about it? I like the way it strangles people with its tendrils. They pop like bubble wrap. Oh, so cute. Say one more fucked up thing about killing people and I'll tear you a new one. No, you won't, big guy. Who's going to pleasure you if you do? Then I'll rip out your voice module to shut you up. Cholas will fix it. But I love it when you talk like that. Scold me. Yes, tell me off harshly. Shut up. Fading data. Charles. They didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Cryopolymer canister connected. Great! The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. Well, are we ready now? Let's go. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well... Shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. 
You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Fading data. Chelas, what are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Be careful! The enemy is on high alert. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Terish Cobras, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Terish Cobras. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing. Shit, where do they keep coming from? A bumblebee robot is delivering them from a nearby factory. Damn it. The gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS-2 Volan. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal, use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. Can I get a 9 o'clock appointment, Nina? I'm gonna take a day off. Ludmilla got one of those amazing poly hairstyles for her wedding. Could you do that for me too? Pretty please? You know, the kind where it's one style in the morning and then it's different in the evening. And the color changes and everything. Everybody's gonna be there for the collective update. All our bosses and maybe even some foreigners. I don't wanna look all frumpy. Oh, and grab me some poly nail polish too, okay? I want my nails to change with my mood. Polymers sure are amazing for beauty stuff, huh?
seems to have deployed a disproportionately large number of robots to this area for some reason. I recommend stealth. I'm already late to the VDNH. Sechenov said I needed to hurry. A frontal assault carries a high probability of death. I've seen security systems like this before, Charles. I can get around it. Pleasure serving with you, Major P3. Unfortunately, you are about to be killed. Will this device allow us to hack into the security system? Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Granny? Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. 
Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right. I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. Listen, Ivan. Toward the end of my shift, I started using light signals to talk to the guy in the lighthouse on the other side of the lake. See it over there? It's called the Neva Lighthouse. I figured he was lonely. I mean, I'm here at the station with a village full of nice people, plus Vavilov and all that. And they just brought him here from Sahalin, along with a lighthouse. How far away is that? 2,000 kilometers? Just imagine it. He used to live by the sea there, sending signals to ships. And now he's here. I mean, that's kind of sad, right? Anyway, I was wondering, could you talk to him a little every now and then? Well, have a good shift. You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports, your beloved Sachinov son, I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of- Are it. you? Our atomic heart project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. 
But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else, and the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision, and I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. <laughs>